Welcome, and from me is a Lenovo Tab M10 and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. And when you put it up for the first time it will be presented with a welcome screen, so simply select your language right here by tapping on the drop down and choosing your language. Now I'm gonna stick with English so let's cancel that and from here tap on start. I have uh, please agree to the following. Um, so we have some uh, license agreement obviously and uh, user experience program so this one is um, this one is optional which I don't really see it anywhere like written clearly uh, but this one you do actually have to agree to so license agreement uh, from there tap on next uh, connect to mobile network I'm gonna skip this so I don't have to put in a sim card this step is like I said completely optional um, just as the Wi-Fi the only difference is if you choose to not connect to any kind of network so either via uh, Wi-Fi or the SIM card um, then you won't see the option to log into your Google and also restore the device from an old Google backup so let's skip this we have date and time now this would be set automatically if you connect to network or insert a SIM card then we have um, some Google services we have uh, location scanning and send user and diagnostic data you can tap on the drop down and read exactly what it does but in a brief explanation location basically uses GPS tracking so it knows where you are and it's used by apps for instance like Google Maps um, so it correctly estimates your location and gives you an accurate route to whatever your destination is if you're trying to use it for like driving with GPS um, then we have scanning it basically scans things like Wi-Fi Bluetooth and stuff like that and then send user and diagnostic data so basically gathers data on you and sends it to Google so they can quotation mark improve stuff and probably also uh, give you a more personalized ads so I'm gonna deselect all of them because we don't need need it anyway and then accept and from here we can set up a protection so we have face recognition pattern pin or password if you go with face recognition you will still need to set one of those three below that um, so if for instance something happens that the device can't read your face you still have other other ways of actually unlocking the device i'm gonna go with just a pattern here um, secure startup i would choose no um, this option basically forces um, forces you to put your pattern pin password whatever it is uh, before the device fully boots and then once it fully boots you still need to put it once more making it a little bit annoying so i'm gonna say no then draw my pattern top next we draw the same pattern confirm and navigation uh, style so gesture mode let's tap on it so we have the option to go with the gesture which is set by default or the classic which is the three button navigation i'm gonna finish it up so finish device setup and there we go so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.